Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, at just about 7 o'clock Sunday night. I am meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. If you are just tuning in for the first time, this is our exclusive video weather blog. We, again, try to give you updated information as much as possible. We post this to WREG.com slash weather, or if you'd like to take a look at more of the various social media networks that we're located on for forecast information or for this video blog, you can catch it on all those locations there. Forecast details available right here. Currently we've got a temperature of 55 degrees with mostly cloudy skies out there. Tonight lows pretty much have already set them. We're going to be rising on the temperatures overnight to about 60 degrees just before dawn patrol tomorrow morning. Forecast for tomorrow, scattered showers for the most part in the lower bar down here and temperatures back to around 70 degrees for high temperatures into tomorrow afternoon. So some very mild weather coming our direction. Once again, we've got about two weeks weeks and change until we change seasons. Not that it's felt much like winter around here for this time around. We should be looking at some much warmer conditions into the next several days off and on. We'll talk more about that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, please email me at austin.onic at wreg.com if you'd like to find out more about what's going on across the Mid-South where it comes to weather trying to keep you updated on this throughout the course of the weekend. There is going to be the possibility of some stronger weather coming on through as we go Monday. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Currently on radar, we're not getting, again, a lot of major activity taking place. We do have some scattered light showers over parts of mainly northeastern Mississippi, picking up some lighter activity between Corinth back into around northwestern areas of Alabama and into around the Tennessee River Valley of southwestern Tennessee. Most of that continues down through around Oxford, Tupelo, Houston, down to the I-55 area, and then more scattered showers approaching the mid up from the area around south of Little Rock, moving toward areas close to in and around Phillips and Lee County in Arkansas. All that is moving its way to the east-northeast at about 20 to 30 miles per hour. Metro area for this early scene all that much in the way of rainfall so far. We've had a place beyond that. There's just really not that much going on at this time. Northeast Arkansas, north of I-40, west of a few scattered showers. Take Jonesboro, Bay, Truman, Fisher, Lynn, right around the Manila area, picking up some very light activity. And northwestern uh, major amounts of problems for tonight. Most Interstate 40, right back between Jackson and the Tennessee River Valley, and all that moving away from us back toward the east-northeast. For precipitation, we did manage to pick up at least a little bit of some numbers today back in about the six hundredths of an inch range which means we're just almost right on for departure for the month fairly close to where we should be for this time of the year uh, for this time of the month for the time of the year we could definitely use some more rainfall we're about two and three quarters inches behind where it comes to rainfall so we could definitely use a lot more where it comes to some of that rainfall out across the mid-south it's just not really been occurring for us anytime soon and into around the area of January and February we could always use a little bit more rainfall to help us out before it gets too dry in here around summertime so something to think about if you're going to be out and about for the next couple of days you're more than likely going to have to have the uh, umbrella with you just to be on the safe side apologies for the screen freeze for those of you who are uh, tuning in on uh, Periscope and Twitter for tonight sometimes large amounts of data has a habit of hiccuping the system so we'll get back to that we are still alive for those of you out there just not quite moving along with the sink in the screen and until this decides to get back to normal before that happens. There we go. I think we're back to normal there. On the almanac for today, 56 the high down below our high of 60 degrees. 50 degrees was our low. Normally we should be at about 41, so we are a little bit lower than what we should be for this time of the year, or a little bit higher than what we should be. Definitely above our record high of 15 set back in 1960, and 80 degrees hasn't been uh, broken as a record high since 1918, back about World War One. so it's been a while since that's been on the records there. Currently looking again at numbers throughout the next several hours, accompanied by lots of cloud cover. That's the gray that you see on screen, the computer trying to show where exactly we're going to be picking up the heavier amounts of cloud cover out there. And temperatures, again, should be... 
So if you have any plans again for night traveling any place, may want to allow for some extra amounts of time to get to where you're going, just to be on the safe side. Let's make certain I've got everybody on the map here. Heading overnight, chances of rainfall continue to make their way back up to the north and to the east, and will continue to make their way across the mid-south right on through the time that News Channel 3's Todd Demers is on the air with the forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning at about News Channel 3 at 6 o'clock. So if you'd like to join him for a forecast update and a look at traffic with Corey Ventura, Please make certain to drop through for more information there. Scattered showers continue off and on as we go throughout the rest of the morning into the afternoon and early evening. We're just not seeing again a lot of anything involving huge amounts of problems. But as we go toward the area in and around tomorrow night, back to our west, we start to see the possibility of even more thunderstorms developing and moving fairly close to us right around the area of northeast Arkansas, just on the outskirts of our viewing area, and then moving back up to the northeast. Now, threat for severe weather at this time and definitely good news on that again for those of you on uh, Twitter and Periscope apologizing for the lack of uh healthy streaming going on. It's definitely not your feed. It's uh, my computer that's slowing down, unfortunately. Now, into around late Monday, we see the possibility of an enhanced threat of severe weather. Southern Arkansas, Fort Leonard Wood, Springfield, maybe close to around Joplin, Missouri, down to just around Conway, Arkansas, and into and around the area close to around Fort Smith, Fayetteville, Rogers, Springdale in that area. That'll be the main target zone for the possibility of severe weather. We will be in a marginal threat. The green line indicating again the possibility of a marginal threat of severe weather and again that will last until we go through about early Tuesday morning cluttering its way through the Mid-South, which means the threat of severe weather is possible. It's just not overall huge for the entire area. Temperatures again through today. We're back in the mid-upper 40s. We'll be back in the 60s. Looks like we have an old forecast here. Uh, we'll bring you more information about our forecast details at wreg.com slash weather. Apologize for this. This should have been uh, a new forecast here for you. Not sure why this didn't update properly, but that's live TV and live netcasting for you. This has a habit of happening from time to time. Here Here's what it looks like for tomorrow morning, getting the kids out to the school bus stop. Again, fairly mild in the morning, mid-50s or so, and mid to upper 60s for lunchtime. Looking like the 70s for the time the kids get out of school, and there will be chances of showers throughout the course of the rest of the day tomorrow, so the umbrella would not be a bad idea to keep that handy throughout the rest of the day. More about Skywarn training classes. The next meeting is tomorrow night in Pocahontas, Arkansas, Monday, March 6th at 6.30 p.m., followed by Tuesday, March 7th at Clarksdale, Mississippi. This coming Saturday morning, not afternoon or evening, but in the morning in Jonesboro, Arkansas at St. Bernard's Auditorium, 505 East Washington Avenue. Next Monday, the 13th, 6.30 p.m. at Tunica at the Fire Department, Lee County, Arkansas at the Fire Department. Next Tuesday, the 14th, that'll be at 6.30 p.m. More information about all this, go to the National Weather Service in Memphis, either online or on Facebook, and they'll have more information on what's going on there. Tune into my complete forecast. It's available throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Stay tuned for the Memphis AM radio show tomorrow morning on Yahoo Sports Radio AM 730. And we'll keep you updated on what's going on with the weather with C. Austin and Josh. And then Bob and Josh take over with Talk Back Live Sports on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, very early tomorrow morning. And, of course, don't forget to check in with Todd Demers coming up bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak, giving you more information about what's going on with the weather and follow along with all of these social media networks. I'm on there someplace, so look around, and I'll be at those particular locations out there. Again, questions, concerns, ideas, comments, complaints, if you absolutely must, send them along to austin.onic at wreg.com. You can reach me through wreg.com slash weather. Complete update on the forecast available at wreg.com slash weather. And a ton more information available throughout the rest of the week with Todd in the morning and Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers coming up into the afternoon and evening hours. Again, Monday night into Tuesday glancing blow of stronger to severe weather. We will be watching with a lot of interest to see what goes on there. So definitely want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis at just past 7 o'clock Sunday evening, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik live on Google Plus, YouTube, also on Periscope and Twitter. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 online or on air throughout the course of the rest of the next several days and we'll keep you advised as to what the weather is going to be doing in the Mid-South. Thanks for joining me tonight.